What is up and welcome back to the Self Mastery Podcast. Sit down, strap in and enjoy. Most people sit around complaining about other people being lucky yet they wait and hope to become lucky themselves. You have this craving for luck yet they complain about others being lucky. The thing is they don't understand that for the most part luck isn't real internalize that right luck is not real most cases of luck that you see out there in the world are either crafted luck or random chance with an outcome that you viewed as desirable and hence you deem it lucky this lack of awareness as to what luck actually is is why most people aren't lucky when you view yourself as never being lucky or even unlucky you are engaging in a negative form of self-talk which limits and ruins any chance of you actually taking life into your own hands and creating your own luck. You see, there are two types of luck. We've briefly just touched on them. What most people consider lucky isn't luck at all. When someone is a master of something, when they are rich, when they're happy, when they're fulfilled, when they're successful, when they're able to travel, when they're able to buy nice things, most people say, aren't they lucky? Discrediting all their success down to mere chance, a mere probabilistic outcome. In reality, most lucky people combine hard work and smart work for a period of time so long that to the average person, it seems, ins- it seems insane. They meet opportunity with preparation. Now, there are, of course, some actual cases of luck, but they're rare. And as I explained earlier, these are nothing but cases of random chance that you choose to view as lucky because the outcome is desirable. Someone else might not view that situation as lucky because that outcome is not desirable to them. But because you view the outcome as desirable, you view it as lucky. So if you're not lucky, it's not because the universe hates you. Okay, it's not like the universe has some sort of gripe against you and wants you to stay fucking down where you are and stay average and never achieve anything it's because you haven't taken life into your own hands you haven't combined hard work and smart work for a long fucking period of time you haven't done it yet and that is why you're not lucky you see oprah winfrey she has a quote i believe luck is preparation meeting opportunity if you hadn't been prepared when the opportunity came along you would not have been lucky you need to change your perspective on luck You need to start viewing luck as something that you can control, something that is in your control as a combination of hard work and smart work. This way you can actually take control and implement some luck into your own life. You can craft your own luck. When you view luck as something uncontrollable, you remove your power, you remove your control, you remove your ability to manipulate it into your favour and become lucky. But when you take control, you craft your own luck. The, now, the biggest bit of conventional luck or random chance viewed as favourable I've had in my life and most people who are lucky have had in their life is the country and family that they're born into. In that regards, I am lucky. I'm not from a really rich, well-off family, but I had a very, we were very middle class, very just had enough money to get by sort of family. And I was born in Northern Ireland, the first world country. Otherwise, I've not had much luck in my life. Now, that's not to say... I've been unlucky because I haven't been unlucky in the slightest but conventional luck has not played much of a role for my life. Everything I have achieved over the past few years has been down to crafted luck. It's been through hard work combined with smart work repeated every damn day for the past four years and I'm only just starting. This is a decades long game that I'm playing. This self mastery movement is spreading every damn day on Twitter, on Instagram. I see more and more people with self mastery in their bio. Soon it will be a household term in the next level of self-improvement that the world aims to be on. Now, of course, there have likely been cases of random chance which have benefited me throughout the past few years. Of course, I'd be stupid to deny that. But none of these cases of random chance would have led me to where I am without the work. I would have wasted the opportunities because I wouldn't have had the skills, the knowledge, the wisdom, the experience in order to deal with that random chance and to actually play it into my favour. I would have wasted the opportunities. Because here's the thing, you can't rely on conventional luck if you're not at least trying to craft your own. Now, we have so far covered that luck is a combination of hard work and smart work repeated day after day for years. But what is hard work? What is smart work? Well, don't worry, I'm going to explain it. Hard hard work is your 
classic productivity, discipline, self-mastery. If you want to work hard, here's what you need to do. You need to set your goals. You need to make sure your goals are reasonably unreasonable, specific and with a deadline. You then need to make a plan for that goal. You need to find a vehicle for your goal, what you need to do to achieve it and then break it down into a daily action which you complete every damn day. Once you have made your plan, you have to then plan your day. I recommend personally planning every hour. The busier you are, the more detailed your plan will have to your daily plan will have to be. This is essential for ensuring you're able to get what you need to do done, your daily actions, on top of everything else in life. Because you know, life isn't easy. It throws curveballs at us. We all know this. Now I actually break down how I plan my day, deep work, uh, focus and consciously align my life in my get shit done productivity system which there will be a link in the description below if you're interested in that and want to check it out. You then need to perform deep work. Now, when you are completing your daily actions, you want to complete them to to as high a quality as possible. This way you can get the best results and make the most progress as fast as possible. To complete an action to as high a quality as possible, it requires undistracted flow and focus, which you can't achieve through short, shallow work blocks such as a Pomodoro timer. Deep work is a non-negotiable for those chasing mastery of anything. Now, there are of course more things you can do to work hard, but these are your foundations. Set your direction by having a goal, make a plan, get shit done. Simple. Do that and you'll be able to work hard or at least you'll have a fantastic foundation for working hard. What is smart work? Well, smart work requires you to combine hard work, everything we've just covered, with a number of variables. The first one is training and good nutrition. For peak mental abilities and peak cognitive function, you need to be in peak physical shape. This requires good nutrition, so high protein, low sugar, vitamins and minerals, water and clean food in general. Training also helps stave off burnout because it relaxes your nervous system with a cocktail of feel-good neurotransmitters such as endorphins and anandamide. Now, I actually went into more detail between success, nutrition and working out in last week's podcast. So there will be a button up here somewhere where you can click to check that out. But you know, after you finish this episode, you then need good sleep. You cannot work hard for a prolonged period of time without good sleep. Your cognitive function will be minimal and your quality of work will be massively diminished. So if you try to lack in sleep, you'll burn out and you'll not be able to work hard at all. Get seven to nine hours of high quality sleep every single night and you will be able to work your ass off for a prolonged period of time. Now, I actually go into optimizing sleep in a past self-mastery podcast. Again, there'll be a button up here somewhere if you want to check that out. Then meditation and silence. Right, Meditation and silence are two keys for mental clarity and mental peace. When you're working hard and building something great, when you're trying to achieve great shit, your mind gets cluttered because there's so much going on. It's trying to connect so many dots, it's trying to recover, it's trying to do everything else that it needs to do whilst being pushed hard daily when you're working. Hence, you need to be meditating and sitting in silence and daily to help reset that and recover. I recommend building up to at least 10 minutes of meditation every single day. Then you have to understand that you can't generate good output good output in terms of ideas without good input. So if you want to know what to work on, when to work on it and be able to generate new ideas, take the right steps and make progress towards your goals, you need to prioritize learning. Whether it is YouTube, books, courses, coaches, whatever the fuck it is, you need to be learning every damn day. Now, of course, you don't want to be productively procrastinating, you need to take action to actually make progress. So, I actually went into how to balance action and learning in my two-hour mastery formula. Again, there'll be a link up here for you to check out that video where I go into detail on how to stop productively procrastinating. And look, here's the thing too. Working hard doesn't mean being stupid. You need to build systems. You need to automate what can be automated. You need to outsource what can be outsourced. Streamline this process of working hard and you will be working smart by building systems and processes to streamline the work. If you combine hard work and you combine smart work over a long enough period of time, you'll be prepared to to seize any opportunity which can be presented either through random chance or for you through you creating them. Without hard work and without smart work, all the luck in the world won't give you long lasting results, success and fulfillment. Because don't get me wrong, you might get a chance, a bit of random luck, a random chance situation which is viewed as favor- favorable, so it's luck. But if you don't have the skills and knowledge and experience that comes with combining hard work and smart work or crafting your own luck, you won't be able to maintain that random chance opportunity for a long period of time. Hence, you won't get long-lasting results, progress, or fulfillment. Now, I'll finish this podcast with a quote from the boss. When it comes to luck, make your own.
Bruce Springsteen. Just a reminder that Mastery OS will be relaunching for enrollment in a few weeks. If you want to unlock your true potential and achieve peak performance through self mastery so you can finally get out of your own way, build your discipline, find fulfillment, and smash every goal you set, sign up for the waitlist to be the first to know about our launch through the first link in the description below. Um, there will be limited spaces, so if you want priority access, you need to be on that waitlist. And all my links to everything else, so get shit done system, brand builder course, dopamine detox guides, everything will be in the description below. So if you're interested in any of that, check them out, and I will see you in the next video.